This statistic probably breaks my heart more than any. This is another ASDS survey that says half of the patients that are seeking cosmetic treatments use price as the number one criteria or influence in selecting a provider. Half. Half. Is, so it's a price-driven marketplace. And when price rules the roost, those of you who don't know the word commoditization, that's what the aesthetic market is becoming, commoditized. Anybody know the definition of commoditized? Commoditization? I'll give it to you. There's actually three, and they're all pretty much the same. It's a lack of meaningful differentiation among products and services, that everything is sold on price, not brand or brand quality, and that more and more competitors come into the space driving price down further. Does that sound familiar to anybody in this room? Yeah? This is a $44 billion market in a couple of years. And we're arguing about price. So all this training you do, coming to this meeting, you're doing all this reading online, and your market is no different than diapers, detergents, and razor blades. Think about that. You offer this incredible service. You study. You know exactly how to treat these patients. You think about beauty all night long and all day long, how you can improve these people's lives. And all they're thinking about is how cheap can I get your services. This is what the aesthetic market looks like to an aesthetic patient. Just a long row of irrelevant color. Not fair. Not fair to the people in this room who are working so doggone hard to develop the skills to change these people's lives. We're not talking about getting wrinkles here, getting rid of wrinkles here. We're talking about changing people's lives. So what's the antidote? How do you get over this commoditization of this market, and how do you deal with information overload? What can you possibly do?